Hello, this is Tom from Trigon Turf. We're going to talk today a little bit about granular humates, granular humic acids. We've been asked a lot about these particular products. They're granular organics. You're going to put them out in your soil so they release a nice good organic into the root zone. So I've got two here today I was going to talk a little bit about. They look identical. Same color, same particle size. So the products for the most part look the same, but in our research we've learned that they're not. For example, this product here costs a dollar per pound, and this product here costs two dollars a pound. And you're going to say, well, why am I going to buy this product? This one's half the price. But what we've shown in our research is that this product here is going to behave a lot differently for you and give you that slow release, long-term release of organic humic acid into the soil that you want. With this product here, you're going to find, even though it's cheaper, you're going to need to put it out more frequently. It's going to dissolve faster. You're going to need more labor, more time, more fuel to get it out on the golf course. This product here, you're going to be one and done. It's going to last four, five, six months. So we've opted to work with this particular product called Eon 75. And if you'd be patient for me, I'm going to show you how it's actually cheaper in the long run. The application cost of this product, although it looks to be twice the price, it's actually going to be half the price or less than this product. And let me show you why. We're going to take the same amount of each product and put it in a beaker. We're going to add about 300 mils of water to each beaker. And one of the things you'll notice right away is as we add the water, you're getting different color characteristics of the two products, even though they look the same. You can see this one here is a little bit more grayish and, and uh, a grayish blackish brown, a lot more turbid of a product. This one here is a, a more coffee colored, iced tea colored product. This one's translucent. This one's a little murkier. We're going to go ahead and pour off the supernatant now of each product so that we retain the granular material in the bottom. So here's all the good stuff that's getting released in the soil to the root zone, which is what the plant wants. And in the bottom we have the residual of the granular product. And again, you can see this one's a lot more translucent. It's got a good color to it. Okay, so again, we have material in the bottom of both beakers. Now let's go ahead and add more water. We're going to fill up again to the 300 mil. And we're going to continue to allow these products to do their job. Steeping and releasing a really good humic acid into the solution. Again, the colors are slightly different. This one's kind of a turbid grayish black color. Pouring off that supernatant until we almost lose some solids. And the same here, pouring off supernatant until we just about lose the solids. Okay, so you can see there's a lot more material in this one in a granular form, whereas in this one it's more of a, a sandy, silty material. So let's add another 300 mils. Be patient with me, it's going to pay off, trust me. You're going to be getting the best product for the price. And you'll notice now in this first product, it's, uh, it's pretty weak. There's not a whole lot of granular material left. It's mostly been dissolved. It's nearly, nearly clear. Pretty clear stuff. Just a fraction of material left in the bottom. And we're going to pour this one off as well. So we just about lose those solids. There they are. And again, look how much material still remains. So we'll do a fourth round. And I think that'll probably be it for this product. So imagine uh, four irrigation cycles or four rain events. And obviously in summertime in here in Florida, four rain events is basically a week. Um, you know, this product is gone. There's, uh, there's nothing left. So although it looked cheap by the pound, uh, it's going to be gone, and you're going to be out there telling the guys, load up the bags, and put it out there again. 
Um, nothing left. And this one, the fourth round, we poured out. Again, a nice, pretty consistent, translucent, clear tea as we had on the first round. And we're going to pour it out until we just about get the solids. And we still have quite a mater amount of material left. So we're just going to work with this one now, since we've exhausted the first product. Add another 300 mils. Give it a quick stir. And we're going to have to call it quits there because we're running out of volume. So looks like it's twice the price, uh, but in reality, it's really about half the application cost. Look at the amount of material you're going to produce pound for pound against the other product. So Eon 75, great product. This is how you can cost justify it because your application cost is going to be half compared to some of the competition. So good luck working with it. Any questions? Feel free to get a hold of us at Trigon Turf. Info at trigonturf.com. Thank you.